Hey guys and gals, this is Matt. Matt who? Just some guy from the internet. And the first thing you might notice is, hey, Matt, you sound different. You sound more enthusiastic. You sound, well, you sound less creepy. And that's because a lot of people have been complaining about how I send chills down their spine with my creepiness. So, you know what? I'm going to turn it down a notch just for those people. Because, you know what? I take what you guys say to heart. And I... 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 I really don't want to creep you out. (laughs) Okay, I'm going to stop with that. So, let's get right into it. Today, I want to share a story with you. A story that took place when I guess I was about uh, three years old, or 18, something like that. (laughs) What a big jump. Now I was three years old. And uh, it was the talk. What talk? The sex talk. That's right. Oh, you know that question you ask when you're a child? Where do the babies come from? And your parents have to come up with something. Either they tell you the truth, or they tell you an analogy with the birds and the bees and and all sorts of different ways of explaining the natural, my mom came up with a pretty good, I'd say a pretty good talk. This is what she told me. So let me reenact this whole situation. Baby me. Hi, mama, when do babies come from? And my mom goes, "Uh, when when you pray to Jesus for a very long time, you will get pregnant. But you have to be a woman, of course. It, you can't be a guy. And you know what? I went with it. I was like, okay. She didn't even give me a timeline. She's not like, oh, you got to pray to Jesus every day for five weeks, and then eventually you're going to get a baby. No, she didn't tell me that. She just said, you got to pray to Jesus, and eventually you get a baby. You'll get pregnant. And uh, I went with that story. I didn't. I did not. I was not like, you know, you're three years old. You're not as cynical. You're not going to be like, well, I don't believe you. You're that's bullshit. You know, you're not going to say that at, at three years old. And that's why when you're three years old, everything's much more enjoyable, including movies. That's that's some, another topic I could get into, but I don't want to get into that. Uh, so, yeah, I believed her until eventually, I guess I was 25 years old until I realized how sex is done. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of uh, it's kind of weird to look back at it and think about it. But what I really want to know now is what are your sex talks? What, what did your parents tell you? Did your parents come up with some crazy story? Or any crazy story in general when you were a kid. What did you believe in that most kids probably did not know about? Like a little white lie your parents gave you because they didn't want to explain something. I would love to hear your story. So please tell me. Subscribe to the channel while you're at it. Why? Because I'll give you money. I'll give you so much money. I don't have money. So you know what? I'll give you the best eulogy you've ever had. Okay? How's that sound? I know it's a little morbid. And I'm going to end on a morbid note. But I don't want to do that. So, um, um... Um, we're gonna end on a morbid note, folks. That's that's that. Okay. I I I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I, have a great day. <laughs>